Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship and Norma Prize for another episode of the Homeworld Hardcore, Homeworld Cataclysm Hardcore Testing Series. <laughs> That is a mouthful. Anyways, hopefully you guys are doing pretty well today. Um, it is very cold where I am at right now. In fact, I think it's like negative three Fahrenheit where I live right now. It is brutally cold. I have a humidifier running. I have my room heater running. Um, I'm hoping my voice doesn't give out because it is kind of dry in this area right now. I got some tea to like settle me through this uh, video, even though I've already drank pretty much most of it. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, today we are going to be testing out the adjustments I've made to the Kushan Heavy Cruiser, which is what we see right in front of us. And we're going to be putting it up against the Titan Heavy Cruiser. Now, I have modified both of these um, massively. The Kushan Heavy Cruiser has 395,000 health. It has it has a lot of armor, because um, in my in my mind, I would see the Kushan doubling down on their defenses in order to increase their survivability against the Tidan as they continue to hold their ground um, with the new homeworld as Tidan continues to advance aggressively. So in my original mod, the Kushan Heavy Cruiser had 375,000 health. I boosted it up to 395,000 to show that there was a, a 10 year you know, gap. So technology has improved. Um, their ions are the same as the destroyers, except the Kushan Heavy Cruiser has four of them. So each ion, it says 26 damage, but that's 26, but that's uh, 26 damage every, I think, four frames for 2.8 seconds, and there's 60 frames uh, in a in a second in this game. So it it uh, averages out to 155 DPS per ion beam. So that will be 310, that'd be 620 DPS that the Kushan Heavy Cruiser does just with its ions. Now, its projectiles, in my original mod, I made the Kushan um, Heavy Cruiser have do um, a lots of damage with the projectiles that does massive amounts of damage. I mean, cause look at these freaking turrets. I remember in the, uh, the strategy guide, each one of these turrets is the third of a size of a frigate. So it's about probably the size of a Corvette, maybe larger. Think of a giant gun that's as large as a Corvette shooting at you. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. So each one of these turrets do 375 damage, but so the Kushan Heavy Cruiser isn't so like OP, I've reduced the attack speed to 10, which means it only shoots these turrets once every 10 seconds. But when they hit, oh boy, they will hit. So, on the flip side, Online. we have the Titan Heavy Cruiser here, who has a whole lot less health, 330,000 health, because again, um, I would assume the Titan will be focusing completely on aggression to try to take their planet back, or what they assume is their planet, um, Higara, back um, as quickly as possible, because they would believe, I personally believe the, the Imperialist Titan would want it back for their to, uh, for their emperor because it's like this is our emperor's planet we need this so their ions do it says 32 here but their ions shoot um, for 2.8 seconds but have a reload time of 8 seconds and I forgot to say that the uh, Kushans ha um, have a reload time of 6 seconds on their beams so they shoot for 2.4 cool and they don't are on cooldown for 4.6 and the Titan shoot for 2.8, but are on cooldown for like 5.2. So they have a longer cooldown period, um, but they do a massive amount of damage whenever those ions actually hit. I think they, they have a DPS of 170 for each ion, so that would be 340. That would be 780, no, 680 DPS for all four ions compared to... Um, I think it was 610, so that's 70 more DPS um, with the ions on the uh, the um, 
Imperial heavy cruiser. And as you can see, the projectiles um, do a lot less damage. That's also because I've increased the speed of the projectiles. I've also always thought that the turrets, even though they are quite massive on the, the uh, heavy cruiser, um, the Titan heavy cruiser, the ions were always the biggest threat on these babies, not the turrets. So overall, the turrets would do less damage, but the ions will make up in, uh, in the difference for the more damage that they actually do. But uh, the projectiles have a speed of eight, um, a tech speed of eight, so they shoot once every eight seconds, where the Kushan heavy cruiser shoots once every 10 seconds. So some variations between the two. And also the Kushan heavy cruiser, or the Titan heavy cruiser is 330,000 health. Um, in my previous mod, I think it only had 325,000 health. So just a very, very small upgrade, but a massive upgrade to weapons. Okay, let's put these two against each other and see how they work. If I have this properly balanced, these two, um, despite their um, attack and health dif dif difference, should match each other. So let's get them to see each other. There we go. Be advised that is a friendly. Receiving. Be advised that is a friendly. And begin the battle. There goes the Kushan Ions. There's the Titan Ions. As you can see the difference between attack speeds, uh, the Kushan um, turrets are definitely a lot slower. Going much, much slower, but do a massive amount of damage when they actually hit the target. For the Titan, use their bullets a little bit more frequently than the Kushan. Alright, let's see how we're doing percentage-wise. Uh, the Kushan Heavy Cruiser is 92% health. Um, tight end has 91, but 91. So they are both tied at the moment. Now, one of the things about the tight end that we all learned in the last videos when we were um, I'm checking or checking out the uh, Destroyer variants, as the tight end Heavy Cruiser gets massively damaged, its um, attack speed, its attack speed for its ions are going to drastically increase which makes them very vulnerable when severely damaged. Which to me, I actually like that, because that, that tells me that's like a um, Imperial Titan um, uh, oversee of the weapon development. Because they have stronger ions, but they have longer reload times. So I feel like that's like a, a uh, mishap on the Titan um, side for trying to make their ions as powerful as possible. All right, how are we doing right now? 80% on the Kushan, 79 on the on the on the Choir Jet, and yeah, we're about even right now. Not bad. Let's speed this up a little bit. So overall, I believe the Kushan should win this. Just let it go down to 60%. There we go. Yeah, the Imperial is starting to fall back a little bit. And that's just because the um, the cooldown on the frontal ions are starting to slow down a lot. Let's see where they're at right now. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not bad. There's only like a second delay at the moment of the original. What about the Kushan? Where are we on the Kushan? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven seconds compared to five or six. So a little bit slower, not too bad. All right, let's fast forward until we get down to 40% and then we'll check more. You can tell when the ions actually hit. Okay, so you're at 40%, you're at 37%. So the Kushan is definitely starting to fall ahead. Let's see what the Kushan ions are at now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds. And where are we on the Titan?
There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about thirteen seconds from its original eight. It's almost uh, double the uh, wait time when it comes to launching its beams. Let's see how we are when we get down to 20%. So we're 20% on the Tainan, 25 on the Heavy Cruiser. Receiving. The Heavy Cruiser, or the uh, Kushan Heavy Cruiser is definitely pulling away because the Tainan um, beams are taking so long to shoot now. This is so cool. I love this discovery. This will definitely make their heavy cruiser very vulnerable when they're this damaged. Let's look cool down on their uh, secondary guns. Let's see if we can figure that out real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right now it's about eight seconds. Oh, are those actually not as affected as much? Unless I was counting the wrong one. Hang on, I might have been counting the wrong one. Let's start on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven seconds. Okay. It's definitely a difference. Both these guys are severely damaged. You are at five percent. 12%. Yeah, so this should win for about 9-10% to 10 left. Ship destroyed. 8%. And part of that is just because the Kushan ions don't, um, or can recharge a lot faster than that Titan, which helps them, um, get a little, keep a little bit more of their DPS when they get severely damaged compared to the Titan. So pretty cool. In. Let's grab the rest of these ships, command. and uh, Roger, command. let's um, have them all fight each other and see if uh, um, see which one can win when it comes to the group Receiving. battle test. All right, we got all of our ships now in position. We have the 14 heavy cruisers remaining, and we have the or uh, 14 Titan heavy cruisers remaining, and we have 15 Kushan heavy cruisers, including the one that was in the one versus one test and let's go ahead and issue the orders one thing i love about cataclysm is we can give orders and pause menus Be advised that it's a friendly. so you don't have to worry about um accidentally only grabbing um like one group and then forgetting to Ready issue to the orders Be advised that it's a friendly. here we go we are now engaging oh in case you guys are wondering while i um Go ahead and put these guys in groups while I'm thinking about it. If you guys are wondering why I'm testing the Kushan Heavy Cruisers, I am planning to implement this into the campaign. He probably won't be a buildable ship, but it might be a ship that will help assist in certain missions. Or come along for the ride um, to help you out when you complete certain missions. Mainly, like, Mission 13 I'm thinking of on top of my head. Uh, when the, uh, um... Falcorum comes in to rescue everything and um, uh, gives you reinforcements. One of them might be a Kushan heavy cruiser, so I want to make sure that they're balanced. Alright, so let's see how we're doing so far. Uh, let's see, the Titan heavy cruiser looks, looks like they're still doing pretty good. The severely damaged Kushan heavy cruiser just died. So that's something. This guy is up and close and personal with a couple heavy cruisers. Hmm. How are we doing over here? So far, doing pretty good. Doing pretty well. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but I'm playing around with a sharpening um, uh, effect to try to get the ships to pop out a little bit better and get the text to pop out a little bit better as well. So let me know if you guys see any differences. Um, it's weird because on my recording screen, everything looks completely perfect, but it's probably because um, I'm stretching, I'm playing the game in 720p and stretching it out in 1080p in post. 
um, for you guys. Because the reason I don't play in 1080p is because I don't want the build menus and everything to be super small. Because uh, they're still set to like the original resolution of 640 by 480. I can handle it at 720p, but 1080p just is just too small and I hate it. So I gotta find ways to adjust it in uh, in editing. So hopefully, hopefully things look like they're popping out a little bit better. Boop -de boop boop. If I can't figure it out in editing, then I might figure it out in recording. Because I know there's a... Even though in my recorder, it looks perfectly fine. It's just when I edit it, it, it turns all weird. Hmm. I don't know. Very strange. Anyways, we have a heavy cruiser down here that's really getting concentrated by a couple other heavy cruiser secondary turrets. Um, he is down in the yellow. But he is being concentrated on by that heavy cruiser. He does not like him. Stand by group. How are we doing on the Kushan side? So far, doing pretty well. The Titan can have an advantage if they do concentrated fire, but it doesn't really look like they're doing that. Maybe on this guy up here? Group two is taking friendly fire. Stand by group one. But the Titan are definitely getting a little bit owned. Oh, and um. One thing I realized about um, the uh, upgrading your projectiles to energy weapons, um, I I found out that there's actually supposed to be a mid tier when it comes to upgrading this stuff. Like you're supposed to have a um, um, there's plasma bombs are supposed to be the upgraded projectiles, where um, energy cannons weren't supposed to. It was supposed to go projectiles to plasma bombs to energy cannons, and that's why when upgrading to energy cannons always felt so OP, because it's technically supposed to be the third level upgrade. It was an interesting, interesting discovery to find out. I don't know why they didn't implement that. Maybe they couldn't figure out how to do the three-step process like they could with armor. Might have to look into that, because I might be implementing that. It would be pretty cool. But for the time being, I have energy cannons set to where they take, where they uh, shoot 50%, um, uh, or they have attack speed 50% longer than uh, um, uh, the normal ones, because the, the damage still doubles, and that way it'll only be a 50% increase in the, in the XP, or uh, D DPS. And looks like we lost a Titan Heavy Cruiser. We have another Titan Heavy Cruiser here that's taking a lot of damage as well. The Kushan side looks like they're definitely taking a beating. We got three Kushan heavy cruisers, one on fire, one getting, one just got on fire, and we got another one up here. So yeah, there's been a lot of interesting discoveries as I've been making this, uh, um, this mod, and as we uh, continue doing some more ship testing and whatnot, I'll, I'll be uh, explaining more about that stuff, and hopefully be able to, uh, yeah, uh, to like kind of make Cataclysm better. Are they? I don't think they're taking friendly fire. You're sadly mistaken, man. Stand by group one. Tight end side, we have a. We have three heavy cruisers. That one that's on fire. Three of them are in the yellow. That one just got on fire. Noise, noise. Stand by group two. We still have those three heavy cruisers over here that are on fire. Uh, we got another heavy cruiser here that's getting close to entering the yellow, so his DPS is going to start dropping. Stand by group one. And we have a fourth heavy cruiser, uh, tight end heavy cruiser on this side that's in the yellow. So far, it kind of seems to be kind of balanced, which is good. That's what I wanted to go for. Group is taking friendly fire. I want Tainan to be very aggressive, and I want Kushan to be very defensive. So this works out pretty well. Stand by group two. Ooh, we got one Kushan heavy cruiser here that's really, really damaged. And another interesting thing I found in the research tree when I was messing around with this mod. Um, apparently, they originally were going to make it to where you had to research medium guns as well as frigate drive in order to unlock your frigates, and then heavy guns as long as as well as destroyer drive to unlock like destroyers and heavy cruisers. So there were a couple more extra steps they were planning to implement, but I don't know if they ran out of time or they couldn't figure out how to implement it. 
so they kind of just put it on the side of the coating. Don't know. Hoping maybe to figure that out. Would be cool. Alright, tight end side. We have three heavy cruisers that are in the red. This one is about to die. It's getting very close. Uh, this one here, it just entered red. So he's lost a lot of his DPS, but he's still doing pretty good. And Kushan side, we got three of them in the red, it looks like. There's a little bit of damage to almost every Kushan heavy cruiser, which is cool. Commandeered ship destroyed. Assembly. So lost Stand another Titan. They're down to 12. Hopefully they can kill some of the Kushan soon, otherwise they're going to start getting overwhelmed. <laughs> so many beams. Also, I have been thinking about increasing the size of the battle. I know one, one of the things that's weird about Cataclysm is that sometimes some of the weapons don't shoot. And I've been told that's because that that's like this heavy cruiser might be looking at this ship all the way over here that's out of range. And it can't and won't engage because it's uh, focusing on like a different ship. So I might increase the range of the uh, of the weapons just so that they actually will hit in these type of battles. Like I have to play around a bit, but we might increase it to eight or nine, eight or uh, ten k. I don't want to make it too ridiculous, but uh, that is something I have been thinking about, and something we might experiment as the mod um, goes on. Okay, Kushan is... yeah, this guy's about to die. So the Kushan just lost one, the Titan just lost another. And the Kushan does have a couple of heavy cruisers that are severely damaged, so even if they're not being focused on, they have reduced attack speed. So, reduced DPS. And Titan is looking pretty good. Uh, this guy's about to die. It'll so be on the 10 heavy cruisers. We have two more that are really in the red, another one that's flaming. The rest really have been taking a whole lot of damage. But they are down to 10 heavy cruisers now. Uh, Kushan um, has three that are severely damaged, one that's about to die. Uh, we got two more down here that are severely damaged as well. Another one in the yellow. Another one in the yellow. So the Kushan looks like they have a little bit of damage on everything. Where Kushan um, on, on the Titan um, have like a couple of them that are like very damaged, but the rest of them have a whole lot of health. Hmm. That's an interesting development. One's been focusing fire and another one has been uh, um, not so focusing fire. Ship destroyed. Oh, there goes another tight end. I got two more that are about to die simultaneously. Whew! Down to seven, seven tight ends. So the Kushan definitely have the firepower right now. But did they have the attack speed to handle the tight end? Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. Because the tight end right now have one in the yellow that I think is actually being focused on by a couple of the heavy cruisers, so he's gonna die pretty quickly. And the rest really haven't taken a whole lot of damage. They have been like, their paint has been like smeared. That's like it. Warning. Although Group they have one down there fire. in the yellow. really depend on if they can kill some of these ones. We have three Kushan in the yellow and two in the red. This one's about to die though. And there he goes. Down to 11. Titan starting to advance. Titan just lost another one. They're down to six. So they're down to like half of what they normally have. Group 
Kushan has one down here that's severely damaged. I don't think any of their ships are focusing on it, though. He might be focusing on it. Room two is taking friendly fire. Yeah, he's definitely focusing on it. I don't know if his ions are focusing on it, because he's not using them. But he's definitely focused on it. Stand by group one. Oh boy. Stand by group two. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got four cushion in the yellow, one in the red. This one is really close to dying. But a lot of their ships do have a decent amount of damage on them. For the tight end, the tight end's getting to the point where a lot of their ships are taking damage because they have less and less numbers. So they're starting to get a little bit overwhelmed. Hopefully they can kill one more. Hopefully. At least one more. Stand by group two. But this might be it for the tight end, it looks like. Stand by group one. Yeah, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Ooh, they might be able to defeat this guy. Maybe. They're down to four. Come on, it has like no health. You can beat it with your secondary fire. Oh my god, if this guy survives. He has 900 health left. If this guy survives his battle, that would be a story of the ages to hear. But I don't think he's getting hit by any secondary fire. The ones that were focusing on him died. So he's he's gonna still be in the battle until the tight end destroy one. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that is so amazing. Stand by group one. So it looks like the Kushan are probably going to win with overwhelming numbers. Group one. They're about to beat this guy because there's a lot of ships focusing on him. Commandeered ship destroyed. There go. Stand by group one. Ooh, they might be able to kill this one before they get overwhelmed. Oh, they killed that one! Wow! They killed the one that had 800 health left. Good for them. Good job, Titan. I know you could seize an opportunity when you when you see one. But you guys have three left. You have two of them are on fire. So there's... And there's probably no way the Titan are going to recover from this. No way at all. You have like four, five, you have six heavy cruisers focusing on this one right here. So he is definitely dead. There's two left. Uh, they are focusing on this guy who is severely damaged, so they might be able to kill it before they die, but <laughs> there's a lot of concentrated fire going on these heavy cruisers right now. Uh, oh, your beams aren't focusing on it, only your secondary weapons are. He has 8,000 health left. Oh, there's no way. Nope, there's no way. There's no way. Not without the primary weapons focusing on it. There's no way they're gonna, he's going to kill it. And he's dead. 
had 8,000 health left. <laughs> wow. Stand by group two. So we only lost five Kushan heavy cruisers in that. They're very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But anyways, um, that is the Kushan Heavy Cruiser and the Titan Heavy Cruiser. Next video, we are going to be checking out the Beast Heavy Cruiser and the modifications I made to it um, compared to its Titan counterpart. And I'm very excited to show that off because uh, there's a couple elements on the Beast that I've been messing around with. And um, I think it's going to make for a very unique gameplay mechanic, but you'll definitely have to play the game differently than, um, than you normally would. So... Um, which I think is just going to make the beast a lot more unique. Which I'm excited for. I always thought the beast was a little bit OP. So hopefully with some of the changes I made. To, for me, I'm, motiv I'm motivated to play as them. And I never play as the beast. I'm a, I'm strictly a, um, a Somtal main. <laughs> I play the beast when I get tired of playing the Somtal. And then I go back to playing as the Somtal once after a couple of matches with the beast. That's how I've always been when it, when it comes to Cataclysm. I'm the same thing, same way with Homeworld 1. I'm a Kushan main, and I play the tight end every once in a while when I get tired of playing the Kushan. <laughs> it's kind of a refresher. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Sopan signing out. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated.